Hi guys, here I am as promised to show you exactly how I make my little gnomes. Uh, everyone's been asking mostly about the hats, so we're going to start with the top hats. I never do the same thing twice. That's just how I am. So I'm going to show you a couple variations of the basic way I go about it. It all starts with these cups that I get at the dollar store. Uh, there's ice cream cups you can get. These ones come with little spoons. They can be handy because you can use those for your gnomes accessories later. So I do keep those. Or else you can get these ones that are a little bigger. These are just a to-go cup, they're called at the dollar store. They just come in a sleeve, so I don't have any in the package to show you. These ones do come with a lid. This can be handy as well, as you'll see in the video coming up. So I'm just going to get right into it. We're going to show you guys just how we can make your own top hats for your gnomes. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to just start with our cups here. These are the ice cream cups. We're going to start with two of them. And on the first one, we're just going to cut out the center. It doesn't have to be exact. We're not picky here. And then we're just going to add some hot glue to it so we can attach these two together. And just like that, make sure you wipe off any excess. You don't have any big lumps. And then we're just going to cut out a piece of material that's just wide enough that it's, we have excess on each side to fold over. And then we put glue on our cup and we're just going to roll that right onto the material, pressing it firmly down in the center. And we're going to do that all the way around our cup, just doing probably about a quarter at a time. So for our edge piece, we want to make sure and put a piece of a strip of glue right along the edge and press that down and then right along the top as well. And that way when we fold our material over it, it will be stuck nice and clean and just press firmly again. And then we're going to cut off the edge, leaving a little piece there to fold down. With the help of our hot glue again. And then for the end, just put glue right along the inside of the cup and fold your edges down really firmly. Same thing at the top. For the brim for this one, I used foam core board from the dollar store. You can also use cardstock. This one here I did use the cardstock for, you can see. This one here I used the foam core board. It's a little more stiff, it's a little thicker. So it just depends on what look you want to use. And I just find anything that's about the right size I want to use that's a circle to trace. This one I used a bowl. <laughs> and then we're just going to cut that out with our X-Acto knife. And now the last layer of paper might not come off with that when we do it. Uh, I, that's fine. I like to peel that layer off anyway. I just find it easier to work with. So we're going to cut out the center piece here using uh, both the, sa the same size as it would be on the top. So that's what this piece is here is my top piece. So we're just going to trace that out. I like to put it a little bit off to one side so you get one side that's a little bit thicker than the other. Cut that out again. And we're going to place our hat just right over that, making sure that the hole we cut out is at the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to cover our brim with whatever material you choose. Uh, you can go with the same fabric you used for the top and the bottom. It's up to you. You can switch it up. It really is up to you. For this, I go around the edge just a little bit around. It doesn't have to be an exact circle, but just leaving you enough to fold over top. And then we're just going to hot glue that right onto our brim. And you can see how it is a little bit bigger, so we have enough to fold over. We're just going to hot glue those edges over now. I like to use these clips because they just save your fingers, they save you time. <laughs> They're quite handy. We're just going to go all the way around the hat like that. And then when we're done, we're going to remove our clips and then just soften it up a bit. That's why I like to remove the one layer of paper. It gives it a little more give. 
and then for the top we're going to trace out the exact same size cutting that as carefully as we can and just folding down the very edges all the way around as carefully as we can once again and then we're just going to attach the top to the bottom Finding where the center of that hole is, we're going to poke a hole there with exacto knife and then take some scissors and just cut some triangles going all the way around that circle. These are going to be your tabs that we're just going to fold inside of our hat. Find where the edge of your circle is and place your glue along that. And then we're going to place our hat, making sure the hole we cut is at the bottom. I also have these rubber little thimble things I use for not burning. As you can see, I've burned myself a lot. I have all these things I use to not burn myself. <laughs> so for the top, we're going to do the same thing as we did. We're going to cut out a circle to fold down over the edges. Again, I used foam core board for the top of the hat as well. Just pressing that material down around it. You don't have to worry about the inside of this. We're going to glue all around the edges. This is kind of tricky. We're just going to drop that in there. And for the bottom, we're going to put glue on each one of those triangles. Sorry, I raised it a little too high so you couldn't see. We're going to glue those and just push them all down inside the hat. And from here on out, it is pretty much whatever you choose, how you choose to embellish your hat. Uh, the trims you put on, you can do it in many different ways. So this here for my trim, I'm just folding down the edges. This is for the trim that will go around the edge of my brim. Just on both sides, giving it a nice hem kind of look, I guess. I'm just hot gluing that right around the trim. Same thing on the top. Where if you want to do the top you don't have to you don't have to put it anywhere you can put these anywhere you want as you can see it by the end you can see i've done them all, all different ways i wanted to put a band on this one so i put this material here as a band and then just whatever little trinkets and embellishments i decide to throw on i just stick them on have it they can look very different just depending on what you decide to put on your hat so these ones I'll show you just speed it up quick so they're the same principle we will show you just using the different cups these are the bigger cups now so this is, gives us quite a tall top hat I actually figured these ones would be great for doing um, your bunnies I also used a plastic lid for the top of this one a little different and I used cereal box or cardboard for the brim. That gives us a little more give. As you can see, you can curl your brim then a little bit. And then just adding your embellishments again. This one I forgot to add my center to later, so thank goodness I had to use the, only that thin cardboard so I could cut it all the way through it. <laughs> Still works to do it that way too. Add this little hair thing I found at the dollar store. Again, the dollar store is a great place to find all these little things that you add. And this one I did, it's like a little fedora style more. And I just used one cup for this rather than two. And for the top then, you already have a top, so you just add a little piece of material directly to the bottom of your cup. And I used some cardstock for the brim of this one. So as you can see, same basic principle no matter which way I go.
So as you can see, it really just depends on what you add to the hat to make it your gnome style that you need. And if you can't find these cups, you can use a red solo cup. They are a little narrower, so I like to add a thicker piece of material in the middle just to kind of thicken it up. But they work fine too. You might want to cut it down because they're too tall though. So there we have it. We have our top hats for our gnomes. We're well on our way to getting our gnomes done. So hope you guys like this. I hope it was helpful for you. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Really appreciate it. I really do. Love to all. See you next time for another video.